Ryan, just looking uh, big picture at your day, I mean, how would you describe the, the kind of way that you play today? Uh, I feel as offense, we played pretty good. You know, we had the the, the screen pass that got they got tipped uh, on the first drive. Um, you know, that, that killed that drive, and you can't turn the ball over. But um, for the rest of the game, we moved the ball well on offense. Um, you know, guys make plays, and that's what it comes down to is guys making plays, and uh, we were able to do that today, both sides of the ball. Here in the front and the right side. Ryan, you knew that Baylor offense was probably going to put up some points and some numbers with Robert Griffin out there. How much did the offense, you guys, take up on your shoulders that, hey, you had to go out there and match what Baylor was going to do? You know, and nothing against your defense, but you knew there were going to be a lot of points scored in this game. Um, you know, that's just, that's just the nature of the game these days, you know. Um, offenses are so high powered. Um, we, still, we have confidence in our defense, but um, we feel like we should score every time we touch the ball, no matter who we play. You know, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't, it's not predicated by, by what team we're playing. You know, we expect to touch the ball, uh, I mean, to score every time we touch the ball. So, um, you know, it wasn't anything about Baylor. We, we had the yeah, utmost respect for Baylor, and, and they're a good team. Um, but, but we have high expectations for ourselves. Right side, Al. Ryan, another double-digit lead at half. What was the mindset coming back in for the second half, and how huge was it that you were able, unlike the previous couple of weeks, you it didn't stall out. You're able to have a very successful drive and get points in the first drive into the second half. That was big for us. You know, uh, at halftime we just wanted to get back out on the field. Um, it wasn't a lull or anything like that. Um, you know, we were, we we're biting at the bit to get back out on the field, and um, everyone was just excited. Um, we were glad we we're getting the ball. We wanted to go down and score. And um, the, the guys answered. You know, we, we knew what we had to do, and we were able to do that. Sitting how, in the back row. How dominant were those guys in the, in front of you, your, your linemen? Because 266 yards rushing, 415 passing, it didn't seem like you were under a whole lot of – you feeling a lot of pressure today. No, those guys uh, set the tone for the entire game. Um, you know, I was able to, to get, get passes off um, down the field. And, and it wasn't feeling much pressure. You know, they, they kept the, the guys off me all night. They did a great job um, giving me a pocket to be able to step up into and make a throw. Um, and on the ground, you know, they were open up, open up big holes for our, for our backs, and then our backs are running hard. So um, I feel like we, we clicked really good tonight. Um, but like you said, the offensive line um, really set the tone for the entire offense. And, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta give credit to those guys. Standing in the back middle. Ryan, just the confidence getting a win over a top 25 team after a couple of miscues. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we don't really look at. I didn't. I didn't even know what we were ranked or what they were ranked going into this game. But um, you know, we knew Baylor was a good team, and um, you know, we needed a win. You know, we go to every game expecting to win, and um, no matter what the ranking is, uh, it's good to get a win. So uh, it's a Big 12 conference game. This is a tough conference. A lot of good teams. So it's always good to get a win. Standing in the back on the left side. Right, huge day for Swope. When you throw that deep ball to him, and, and you're just kind of watching him run under it as a quarterback. How great does that feel, and how big was he today for you guys? Uh, Swope did a great job all day. You know, he's able to, to get open and then break a tackle. Um, you know, one, I threw him over the middle. Um, I, I knew he was going to get hit when I threw it to him. Uh, he did a great job, made the catch, and then somehow he stood on his feet and, and was able to, to take it the rest of the way. So uh, it was really fun getting to watch him play tonight. He did a great job for us. Um, you know, that, that uh, double move we, we threw to him, the, the safety didn't really bite. You know, they played a coverage a little bit different than we were expecting. Um, safety didn't really bite, but uh, he did a great job of just beating him with speed um, and then running underneath the throw. Right here in the middle left. Ryan, you had those two 68-yard bombs. You had the 47-yarder to easy. How nice was it to be able to really just open up the passing game and throw long? That was great. You know, um, So far this year, we've really been limited in our, our, our deep passing just because of, of what coverage teams are playing, uh, getting a lot of soft coverage and, and making it tough to throw <laughs> the ball um, deep downfield. But... Um, you know, we knew coming in this game we are going to get a couple of looks that we liked, and, and our guys were able to capitalize on that. You know, we, we had a couple chances, and, and the guys made the plays. So, um, you know, like I said earlier, um, you're going to have a few chances a game. You just have to have the guys that make the plays, and today we did that. Got time for one or two more. Right side. Ryan's total team sport, but when you got RG3 on the other side, he's a Heisman candidate, phenomenal as he is, great kid, everything else, so much national talk about him. How much do you see that as the other team's quarterback coming in here? As a, as a huge challenge for you? Um, you know, I, I, I hadn't even thought a, a minute about the other team's quarterback. You know, I, I think about their defense. I study their defense. Um, you know, we do what we can on offense to control their defense and, and make plays on their defense. You know, it's, it's up, for, up for our defense to, to make plays on, on their offense and their quarterback, and, and they were able to do that tonight. You know, he's a, 
He's a great quarterback. Um, he's fun to watch on TV, but um, our defense did a great job tonight, um, keeping him contained, um, keeping him from making plays with his feet. You know, he, you can't stop him completely. He, he is, he's a good player, um, makes plays on the run, makes throws on the run, but um, they did a good, good job tonight of just trying to keep him contained and, and keeping him from hurting us too bad. Last one, top left. Ryan, how was it to be able to take that last possession off and let Jameel be able to, you know, have a have a drive of his own here at the home field, you know, against Baylor? I know, that's fun. You know, whenever you're, you're able to be up at the end of a game and, and get the twos in, uh, it's great. You know, you get those guys some reps that, that they don't get to see a whole lot. Um, it's fun to, to be on the sideline and just watch a little bit. Uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy watching with the guys that you're usually out there with. You know, it's a different perspective that you don't usually get, but it's always fun to get it. Um, you know, the, the second old line did a great job. You know, we were able to go in there and get a couple first downs to really ice the game. And, um, you know, if we go in there and stall out, you know, you know they call their timeouts and they get the ball back. Um, but they did a great job of going in there and making plays.